Hello YouTube and welcome Diecast family to a absolutely pathetic weekly haul, but I think it's been a couple weeks since I did one. And I have a couple cars sitting here, but not much of anything at all. I do have a super treasure hunt to show you if you stay tuned to the end, and we got a treasure hunt too, but the first one it's going to be a 99 Ford F-150 SVT Lightning. Awesome, awesome looking truck. Love the look of this truck. And it looks like it might be from Q-Case. But it was one I was missing from the collection. Uh, I never found the last couple cases from last year. Including the A, B, and C case that have already been released for this year. So, I'm not sure what case number they're on right now, but the last five cases I haven't seen. So, I've had to go to eBay and local collectors and stuff and try to get the ones that I wanted. and I'm missing a bunch of them. So, the next one, we got the Mazda Repu. And this looks like it's from the A-Case. But it was one I noticed I did not have. And this is a casting I do try to collect or keep up with. Man, that's an awesome looking F-150, though. Especially with the front end detail. That just looks freaking awesome. And we got front end detail on the Mazda. Which we usually don't get front end detail with this, I don't think. It usually has pretty extensive uh, graphics all over it. And then we have a... Does that say rotary? Rotary power. That's pretty cool. My camera will focus on it. There we go. That's pretty cool. So we get graphics all the way around it. Is that normal? Four sides? I guess. Then we have a matchbox. This is going to be 1989 Jeep Wagoneer with a wood paneling on the side. Pretty cool casting. I don't think green light does this. They should do it. I think Johnny Lightning might do a Wagoneer. Somebody comment down below if you know if Johnny Lightning does. Or if Green Light does, but I don't think Green Light does. Then the next one we have is going to be a Hot Wheels 85 Chevy Camaro. Now, I kind of collect the black and white paint scheme. Kind of thought this one looked cool. Uh, I don't think I have any of the other ones. I need the Nissan. Definitely need the Nissan. That one probably got snagged up. And a Lamborghini Aventador. That'd be cool. The BMW, I guess I need that too because I collect the BMW casting. So, going to have to find these because there's a couple I still need. I'm definitely a sucker for the black and white paint scheme. 
Plus, it's a Camaro IROC casting I love to collect, so. And then the next one is going to be a treasure hunt. It's going to be the Dark Knight Batmobile. And I guess uh, every year, at least, at least one of the treasure hunts is a Batmobile. So this is a A-Case treasure hunt. And the Super I have that I picked up off of eBay, I'm not sure what case it's from. I think it's from like the C case or something though. It's from one that hasn't hit the stores yet. But there's a treasure hunt symbol on the roof. The fireball. Then you got some like flames or something going on on the roof. It's a cool blue color. I do like the the tumbler. It is one of the Batmobiles I collect. Only collect like three or four of the Batmobile castings. Uh, I don't collect any of the ones from the cartoon series. And I don't really collect treasure hunts, but. I got a good deal on this one. And I do collect the tumbler, so. I do like picking up the Batmobiles when they are a treasure hunt. I usually get lucky and find them. I do not get lucky and find this one. This one does have a metal base. Or a plastic base and a metal. It is metal. So the last one I got to show you for this really pathetic weekly haul. It's going to be the Super Treasure Hunt Van. I picked up off of eBay loose. It is riveted together. Really awesome super treasure hunt though. Really nice looking front graphics. And that's going to be all I have to show you for this week. It's going to get me pretty much caught up. Just looking around, make sure that there's nothing that I forgot or I'm leaving out. In case you guys stuck around and you want to see some customs I'm working on, I guess I can show you some customs I have that are sitting next to me that I'm working on. Especially since this video is only 8 minutes long so far. First up, I just finished this truck. All these I just clear coated yesterday. I'm trying to decide if I want to put another coat of clear coat on them before I put them together. Or if I just want to put them together the way they are. But I'm kind of leaning towards another coat of clear coat on them. Even though they look amazing the way they are. I mean, they all have two coats of clear coat on them already. This one's definitely going to get one more coat of clear coat I might even try to wet sand it a little bit makes me really nervous to wet sand but I think if I wet sanded it and clear coated it again and then polished it I think it looked pretty damn amazing so 
So I was waiting on the headlight and tail lights for this. So I finally got the headlights and tail lights in. I actually had a set of headlights, but I was missing a set of tail lights. We have this HKS 510, fully wrapped. This one I might not put another coat of clear coat on. I've already put like three or four coats. When you do a full decal wrap like this though, your first couple coats of clear coat, like your first two coats, it will completely suck it up. So you really don't notice a clear coat until like your third or fourth coat. Because it just... The decals just suck it right up. But now, you can see how good it looks. Maybe I'll try to wet sand the Falcon a little bit. And re-clear coat it. And then, uh, if that goes well, then I'll do the same to this one. You need a couple really, really good heavy, heavy layers of clear coat because you don't want to sand through the clear coat when you wet sand. I've only wet sanded a couple times. Uh, bad experience the first couple times. And then the last time I wet sanded, I got a lot better at it. And the, actually like the last two times I wet sanded, I had really good results. And the clear coat I use, a 2K clear coat, it says right on it to wet sand in between uh, coats and that you can really layer on the coats and uh, to wait 24 hours to wet sand. And uh, so we can see this one. I'm 42 years old. My mom saw this one. And said, oh, I don't like what it says. Like, I didn't even know her eyesight was good enough to see it. Like, uh, I don't know. I had a couple cars sitting on. She looked at them and she's like, I don't like what that one says. Like, she's seen it that quick. Like, I guess that's just mother intuition or something. Her eyes must have went right to it. Not to the color of it. Not to the paint job or anything like that. Her eyes went straight to what it said. But awesome, awesome metallic red. Like, oh, I love how this paint came out. And I think it just matches, like, the decals, like, perfect. Like, really happy with how that one turned out. And, of course, I have another Ken Block I'm working on. Needs all the detail painted on and added to it. Then another coat of clear coat. And then it should be done. So maybe next week. Always, always clear coat. Before I do my decals. Or before... Yeah, before I do my decals, and then I always clear coat before I do my painted detail. That way I have a little bit of clear coat protecting it in case I got to wipe it off or something and retry again. This one, I'm still waiting on my headlights. Actually, I think they came in. I think I got some a bunch of decals in the mail right here. And I'm pretty sure the headlights are in here. But all of these from this seller, unfortunately, you got to clear coat them. So it's a big pain in the ass happening to clear coat them. But he offers some really awesome decals that uh, nobody else offers. So. And this time, I think I'm going to try the uh, Hobby Lobby uh, decal clear coat. That's made for doing that. 
Uh, if anybody can recommend anything down in the comments for clear coding graphics, but I'm still looking for a really good uh, clear coat to use on graphics because uh, some people's decals, I get them, and they just work flawlessly. Like the one guy I purchased most of my decals from, from eBay, uh, his decals are just perfect every freaking time. Uh, they're super easy to work with. I don't know what clear coat he uses or if it's just this blue paper because I have way better luck with any decals that come on this blue paper. It, so it might just be the blue paper. I don't know. But his decals are usually like five fifty, six dollars $6 each and uh, you get free shipping. Sometimes uh, there's enough on there like this one where you can do two, which I already cut the roofs off. There was uh, two white roofs, which I used on some cars that I guess I can show real quick. These definitely need another coat of clear coat, but these copperhead and this one, I'm really happy with how the decals are turning out. I only did them on this side. I still have to do the other side. Uh, very, very, very time consuming. Uh, just in the decals on this side, I have like an hour into it. I mean, these little ones here are super hard to cut out and then super hard to place. And I even have one on the fin down here. But... Yeah, all them little decals are just really, really hard to cut out individually. So, I'm working on a ton of customs. Really, really happy with how this turned out. I made two of these. One of them will be available for sale. Uh, you can get a hold of me on my Instagram. It's $50 shipped in the U.S. I'm sorry, but I can only ship to the U.S. And I think maybe Puerto Rico or somewhere. Uh, there's only... It, it's too expensive for me to ship anywhere else and too un, unreliable. I ship to other countries and it just seems really, really un, unreliable. So, unfortunately... I can only ship within the U.S. because it's usually around five or six dollars, and uh, I ship everything sealed back in its original blister with uh, in a protector. So, if anybody's interested, you can get a hold of me on my Instagram. But absolutely love how this one turned out. And I guess that's it for the customs I'm working on that are sitting next to me. So, leave a comment down below. Let me know which one was your favorite one. Then there are some boxes I made back in the day. You got to make them all individually. Extremely, extremely hard. Made the skid. And I kind of wrapped them in like this cellophane wrap. We all wish we could find a skid of Hot Wheels like that nowadays. They're so freaking scarce. Well, sorry I ain't finding nothing in the stores. or just hasn't been nothing. So let me know what you guys have been finding. And happy collecting.